Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to Toronto Park Bench. Um, this particular website is all about showcasing Toronto and local businesses and also interesting people who op reside and operate in Toronto. Today I'm very lucky to have Graham Hills with me, who's the, um, the owner and the director at Aussie Home Loans in Toronto. Welcome Graham. Thank you. Thanks a lot. I know that you're busy. I really appreciate you, you know, dedicating some time to um, helping us at the Toronto Park Bench. Yeah, good to be on the bench. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So everybody knows Aussie Home Loans, but not everybody knows Graham Hills. Yeah. So, so tell us a bit about yourself. Well, you know, I'm, I'm still playing football. That's a bit crazy. Jeez. Yeah, into my early 60s. Um, but yeah, look, I started off as a, a trainee at BHP, just you know, one of the many people. BHP in the 70s. Um, did my degree with them. Um, what did you What did you study? Commerce. So okay. I was a cost accountant. Yep. Yeah. Been called a bean counter in my life. Yeah. Um, you know, I went overseas after that. I came back and drove trucks. So I managed a training company. Or I've done energy audits. Yeah. I've, I've done a few crazy things. And um, I got to 2010 and was retrenched in the GFC. And I. I mean, I worked for myself, so I started to look around for who I could work, yeah. how I could work by myself, and I went, what's he home, man? I could do that. Yeah. So here I am. <laughs> well, you've definitely aligned yourself with a, a good brand, you know, so you'd get clients, because obviously we're based here in Toronto at the top of the boulevard, you, you would get clients from all walks of life coming in and needing finance. Yes. And I would assume that some of the finance is, you know, first homeowners, then you might get really technical trust you know, company applications and things like that. So that would be a skill in itself to be able to identify with each of those different types yes, of clients. Um, yeah, so um, yeah, sometimes I have to remind myself how scary it is for first home buyers because it's yeah. such a big thing. Are there a lot of first home buyers out at the moment? Yeah, yeah there's definitely a, <clears throat> a bit more in the market, um, which is good. Yeah. Um, and, you know, the government schemes help a little bit. The state government um, stamp duty exemption definitely helps a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, look, you know, my accounting background definitely helps with things like trust and that. And I keep on telling people the hardest client was myself because it's so <laughs> complex. Trusts and companies and it's kind of like, oh, yeah. who wants me as a client? But yeah. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. And, and what's an example? Because I know that some people are often that, because home loans are a bit like real estate in that, you know, you might only get one or two home loans in your life. You know what I mean? Where you're, you're organising them every day. So some people might say, well, why would I go to a broker? Why don't I just go to my own bank? Yeah. So what's a really good example of somewhere where you've added value that, that the client may not have got if they'd gone direct to their bank? Yeah, well, look, I, I definitely think one of our strengths is we offer a personalised service. And that can be that, hey, I'll duck around and get people to sign some documents on a Sunday morning or um, see them after hours when after their work so they don't have to you know discuss with the boss getting out of work and do things so that's a real strength the other one is that we we have a range of lenders on our panel yeah. um, and from that we can see well if a client needs this and it might be because of their situation it's a policy issue yeah. or it might be hey we also want a fixed rate or a variable rate or a cheap rate or yeah. you know an interest only rate or whatever um, but also even speed is important. Like right, if you're trying okay. to secure a house, it's no use going with a lender and one of our lenders at the moment is taking 22 days to pick up a file. Wow. So that's no good if you're trying to beat someone else to secure a property. And I just helped someone recently, like in the last week, go from application to settlement in probably about eight or nine days. Gosh, okay. Um, because chose a lender with the policy, yeah. and it was a land registration one where something was registered, and yeah, panic, panic, how we do this? Yeah, good lender, good for construction, speedy, electronic document signing. Let's do that. Yeah. So, is it fair to say that you know, for, for instance, somebody might, might be self-employed? Um, you've got a panel of twenty lenders, or however many you have on your yeah. panel. Um, lender A may have the lowest interest rate, but they may not have the appetite for self-employed applicants at yes. this point, whereas another lender yeah. may. So it's it's navigating through the, the best path. Yeah, and like self-employed, one of the key things that sometimes helps is that you can add back things that aren't cash items, so depreciation. Yeah. You know, some lenders, 
even their policy said, I'll oh, vote at that. But when you actually talk to them, they go, well, we actually really only take 50%. Yeah, okay. So that's a real, yeah. sometimes a trap for brokers, but a trap yeah. for clients as well. Yeah. So, so for somebody watching this, <coughs> excuse me, who, who you know, is looking at either refinancing their home loan for a better rate or to borrow money to purchase something, um, I, I really see the value in them coming in here, talking to, to a broker about, look, this is what I've got at the moment with Bank X, you know, is that good, you yeah. know, and, and, and can we beat that or, or yeah. you know. And, you know, sometimes circumstances mean that you can't, you know, they might be in a fixed period, the, the cost of getting out is too much, but, you know, again, one of the banks at the moment is offering $4,000 to refinance, it's kind of like, wow. Well, yeah. See <laughs> so, you go, Sam. Yeah. Refi. Yeah, refi, <laughs> yeah, it's like, going, how do they do that? But, you know, there's a cost of getting yeah. new business and, that might be cheaper than running billboards or national television. Yeah. Like and and how do brokers make their money? So some people say, oh, I don't want to have to pay a broker, but it doesn't work like that, does it? Oh, look, we do everything for nothing. We've got a, I've got a second <laughs> job. <laughs> Sounds like me. <laughs> Burlesque. But no, um, look, we get paid by the lenders when the loan settles. So obviously we're very motivated to get it from you know the start to the end. Um, there's an upfront commission and a trading commission and that's a historical thing that was really the travel commission was part of an upfront that helped the banks not get all their loans refinanced all the time so yeah. it's worked really well you know people have voted with their feet for um for years and you know we're up to 60 percent new home our uh, new lending is through brokers so yeah that's okay massive yeah so if the in other words if the if the borrower went directly to their bank or they came here to do the loan through you through the same bank, yep. there would be no difference in no cost difference, for the broker. Yeah. So there's yeah. no there's no downside. Um, no in, in no the downside, only upside, as I said, in you might go to the right bank with the right rate, with the right speed, yeah. and you get a personal service. Yeah. yeah. And, and just wrapping up, um, obviously we had a Banking Royal Commission last year that I think seriously affected the appetite of the banks to be doing business. And we, in real estate, noticed that as well. Everything really slowed down. But would you say that, that we've, we've well and truly passed that now and the banks are popping their heads back up? Um, I think, I don't think they really popped their heads down, but they just made it harder to, they wanted to be doubly sure or triply sure that they were doing the right thing because yeah, right. they were found to be doing some wrong things. So sometimes it's, um, oh, and we also want, Three months of credit card statements and look we've seen this entry what is that for and sometimes they jump to crazy conclusions like oh uh, doctor they're going into a children's store oh you're having a baby <laughs> we've had instances yeah, like that right. but over analyzing <laughs> there yeah. just the, look, the pendulum swung that way and I, I think it's starting to swing back now and some of the yeah. banks have been a bit more sensible yeah um but others have been just like I think, you know, they're like rusing lights, kind of yeah. going, the spotlight's on us, we've got to get it right. Yeah, okay. just last question, Graham. Yeah. What advice would you give to a first homeowner, who, a first a first time borrower, yeah. Yeah. who is looking to obviously save up and get themselves in a position where the, a bank will accept them and give them the money for a first time? What should they be prepping themselves for? Oh, look, I definitely think it's worthwhile to see a broker at any stage along the way definitely it's better than waiting until the end when you've made an offer on a property yeah um, but yeah we help people who are at the start of the cycle we've got this idea we've started to save how do we go about it best um, and one of the things might be don't pay out that personal loan you were thinking about save your money so you've got a bigger deposit right okay yeah, because their capacity is strong enough to get that loan yeah um, okay but yeah, anywhere in that period between, or well, we've actually got the property and we've got to get finance to, hey, we're starting to think about it, come and see us because we can set people on a path to anywhere along there to achieve their goals. Yeah, right, yeah. okay. Fantastic, that's great advice. Yeah. Thank you, Graham. A pleasure. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Um, so anybody who is looking to either, you know, get a home loan health check and come and just work out whether the loan they have is, 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 is optimal, or whether you need advice on purchasing residential or commercial property, um, come up to the top of the boulevard, Aussie Home Loans, it's a great business. Um, my name's David Westerman, thank you for tuning in and um, supporting the Toronto Park Bench. 
And if you know of anybody else who would like some support or a reach out, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.